Okay, so we're going to talk about some maintenance items at this point. Um, chainsaws today are um, very robust in the sense that they're running a lot faster than the chainsaw of 10, 15 years ago, 20 years ago. Um, so it's important to um, make certain that our air filters are clean, make certain that our vents, our air cooling fins on our cylinder head are not plugged up with a bunch of sawdust and debris. So in order to clean the air filter, I want to engage the choke position and then I can pop the air filter off, raise it off, and then clean it. And this air filter easily splits in half so that you can get in there and clean that stuff out. I use uh, compressed air at home, um, a brush in the field, or the old tap on the tailgate. Certainly it's back in the seated position, and it back on. So, in a, in a setting where you're a professional user or a very frequent user, um, you want to do a, a monthly teardown or a weekly teardown, depending on frequency of use. In that case, I would take the side case off. I would blow all that stuff out of there. Get in here with the air hose and blow out all the nooks and crannies. Um, do likewise with the side case. This particular saw, the chain brake is outboard. It is in the side case. So here's the chain brake. When you take this side case cover off, the chain brake has to be in the released position in order for this to come off. If you've got a pull prior tug on that to remove that, it's still in the locked position and your this band is stuck around this drum, not allowing it to come apart. So we take and clean all that out with the air hose. Use our, our saw tool to clean that stuff out. We want to make certain that it's not building up behind this band, causing that band to ride up tight against that drum, which would allow it to wear and break and then we wouldn't have a functioning chain brake when we needed it. You can see a tremendous amount of sawdust and bar oil does collect in most places and needs to be cleaned out on a regular basis. Okay, the other thing is that while we're doing maintenance, here is that we want to make certain that this oral 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 make certain that this oil port is clear and free of debris so that the oil can travel out the bar and uh, to the sprocket tip out here on the end. So there's two schools here, those who grease this sprocket and those of us who don't. And I don't grease this sprocket. I allow my bar oil to do the job. Quite frankly, I don't have any more failure by not greasing than somebody who does grease. So, this is also an oil port coming from the oil tank, making certain that it's clean. But we want to make certain that all of this grime and baked on, caked on stuff here gets scraped away. Because what happens is that keeps building up. And as it builds up, it creates a high point for our bar to clamp down on. And when that happens, this sawdust gets smashed in between the side case and the power head. And it never allows full metal to metal contact from side to side. You're creating a high point for it to clamp down on. 
and you, you run into a situation where your chain is always loose. Like I just tightened my chain and now it's loose. What's going on? Why is that happening? And most likely it's because that stuff is just piled up right here and it's not allowing the saw to, to pinch from the power head to the bar to the side case, to the side case nuts to pull all that together. But the other thing is that because of that, you'll constantly have a drip of oil that comes out the bottom because that oil port is leaking as opposed to allowing it to come out the side of the bar. So in order to put all that back together, I'm going to clean this off. Hang the bar. Put our chain on in the right direction, making certain the points of the cutter are pointing towards the end of the bar. Engaging the sprocket with the drive links of the chain. Setting it on. Putting it in place. Part and we'll go back together. We'll loosen the side case adjustment screw just a little bit. Back. So. Tighten that up, and the next thing that we'll talk about will be chain tension. 